from a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. That is good weed. That is good weed. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. You really care about. It's never kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is. Not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Many of you have written me an email like the one I'm going to read. This is not the only one. I've got many, many, many. But I'll read this one from Sean. Very simple. Subject line uh, from uh, Sean. Sean wrote this email. Subject line is A-Rod. What an idiot, says Sean. Not even six years of marriage. And he gets to take care of the ex for the rest of his or her life. What a douche! Think of how happy the Yanks or any other team who picks him up will be. Knowing that half of what they give him is going to her. Ha 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 ha! God damn, I hate New York. Keep up the good work, Dad. That's from Sean. I love that. Have you been following this story? You know, everybody's denying they did anything wrong, but uh, I'll just repeat to you what what rumors were printed. <laughs> you know, there are various rumors, and uh, they just simply uh, denied them. Here's the story. This is the latest AP version of it. Dateline Miami. Alex Rodriguez's wife filed for divorce, calling her husband an adulterer who, quote, emotionally abandoned his wife and children. According to Cynthia Rodriguez's petition for dissolution of marriage filed in the Family Division of Miami-Dade County Circuit Court, quote, the marriage of the parties is irretrievably broken because of the husband's extramarital affairs and other marital misconduct. Really? The New York Yankees' third baseman, who earned his 12th All-Star selection on Sunday, has refused to comment on his relationship with Madonna. (laughs) Holy cow. Who denied any romantic involvement with the slugger in a statement posted Sunday on People.com. Madonna actually took time to respond to this. In the filing, Cynthia Rodriguez said, The petitioner has exhausted every effort to salvage the marriage of the parties. However, Alex has emotionally abandoned his wife and children and has left her with no choice but to divorce him. Rodriguez's attorney in Miami is named Ira M. Elegant. <laughs> His license plate says, I'm elegant. It's essentials. I am elegant. Right. Yes. Mr. Elegant, Esquire, said he had not reviewed the divorce petition, but added... As you know, anyone can pay the filing fee and make allegations. By the way, I thought we had no-fault divorce in this country. Does it really matter what the reason is? Is it even relevant? Elegant also represents NBA star Shaquille O'Neal in his ongoing divorce for his wife, Shawnee. That's quite a list. 
A telephone message left for a Rodriguez spokesman was not immediately returned. The couple, who, for some unknown reason, married in November 2002, have a $12 million six-bedroom house in the upscale Miami suburb of Coral Gables. I used to live and work in that area many years ago. A company run by a corporation controlled by Rodriguez bought an apartment at Trump Park Avenue in Manhattan for $7.4 million in July 2005. Cynthia Rodriguez has asked for primary custody of their two children, as well as child support and vagina money. Their two daughters are Natasha Alexander, three. Who needs their kid, Natasha? <sighs> We're classy. We're going to name the kid Natasha. It's a very classy name. And two-month-old Ella Alexander says here the filing comes just days after the third baseman was linked to Madonna in various media outlets. Then Cynthia Rodriguez later visited the Paris home of rocker Lenny Kravitz, who said she came to France to escape the media frenzy in New York, so she went to see Lenny Kravitz. But she knew there'd be no media frenzy. And uh, denied anything improper. Cynthia Rodriguez's lawyer, Maurice Kuttner, trying to elaborate on the filing, which does not mention Madonna or any other alleged paramours by name. Here's what Kuttner said. Cynthia has made it very clear to me that she wants to take the high road. <laughs> Wait. There's no fall divorce. And you want to take the high road, so you make sure to put into your divorce filing that, that the guy's been having extramarital affairs and engaging in other marital misconduct. How is that taking the high road? Cynthia. Yes, she wants to protect her children, says Cutner, and, and herself. He says there's no vindictiveness here. She wants to resolve the issues between Alex and herself in an amicable fashion. Translated into English, that means with uh, maybe a hundred million dollars. <laughs> that would be considered amicable, I'm sure. Says here, according to the divorce papers, the couple has had a prenuptial agreement in place since October 3rd, 2002. Well, if there's, when were they married? Wait a minute. Well, it's a premarital agreement, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, so they got married a month later. So it was a premarital agreement, prenuptial agreement. They call them anti-nuptial agreements now. Just when you think you've got the thing mastered, they change the name of it. Jeez. Says here the divorce petition was filed the day after Rodriguez hit his 536 homer, tying Yankees Hall of Famer Mickey Mantle for 13th place. <laughs> what a way to celebrate. <laughs> Very nice. Now, in case you're wondering how much money uh, Alex Rodriguez has, he's in the first season of a $275 million 10-year contract with the Yankees. Says here it's a deal that allows him to earn up to $305 million. He made $185.45 million from 2001 through 2007 was contract with the Texas Rangers and later the Yankees. So, uh, you know, between 2001 and 2017, about 17 years, the guy could end up making, you know, $460 million just from baseball. Wow. And she's going to get a very big piece of that. Now, they've got a prenuptial agreement. I don't know what's in the prenuptial agreement. But again, guys, of course this is an extreme example. Isn't this an example of why you shouldn't get married? Now, granted, if you're a 32-year-old Alex Rodriguez, what would you want with that 49-year-old turkey neck Madonna? <laughs> That's something I'll never understand unless you wanted to be with somebody who's as old as your mother. Oh, my God. <laughs> No idea why any man... But but come on. Like, whatever your equivalent of Madonna is... Madonna? Really? 
No, they, they, she, Madonna denies it, and uh, A Rod, uh, I think, has denied it at one point or another. I think Madonna tried to say he was coming up there to f get information on Kabbalah. <laughs> you know what? I'm coming up to your apartment every night from now on so you can teach me about Kabbalah, Madonna. Oh, your marriage is rumored to be in trouble too. Oh, let's talk about Kabbalah. Right. But come on. You're making 35 or $30 million a year. You could have any woman on earth. Why? 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 You like strippers. A-Rod, hey, we've just been photographed with strippers. Has been seen with strippers. This is not a secret. Why, 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 why would a guy like that get married? Because now he's going to get taken to, take to the cleaners. He's going to be taken to the entire shopping mall, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ! Uh, you know, here isn't this like Exhibit A? Why guys shouldn't get married? Like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred town. Like one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Please, men, listen, listen. Tie yourselves up. Go put a condom on. Pay attention. Women are sick. It's the Tom Likey Show. Tom like his show at one 800 800 tom A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez is going to get divorce papers from his wife, Cynthia, because of all these stories about him screwing around. I'm 800 tom This is Alex on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I'm a long-time listener. My best friend got me listening to you years ago, and I listen to you religiously now. Thank you. But I'm calling about A-Rod. A-Rod, you're right. He should have never got married. But with Madonna, Tom, who would pass up the chance to hook up with Madonna? Me. Extremely hot. Every man in this room. Exactly. So you can't say she's no, 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 no. You're, not, you're hearing the exact opposite of what I'm saying. Oh. Every man in this room would pass up Madonna. Madonna, she's a freak. Have you seen the sex book? Uh, no, no. She's uh, she up, is huh? she's your mother. She's your grandmother. She's a turkey neck. But I would, st I still would. She's she's like amazing. Just look at her body. She's better. She's in better shape uh, uh, again, than the majority of people. She's still fifty years old. You know, no interest here. But she's hot, Tom. No, no. Again, uh, gay men and females think she's hot. Straight men do not think Madonna is hot. I know some straight guys. They think she's hot. Doubt it. Guys. Doubt it. Doubt it. Oh, nobody in this room. Tom. Nobody in this room would touch her with a ten foot pole. But it's Madonna. She is like amazing. We don't she's care. Amazing. You know. By, by the way. Guys don't care about whether you're a celebrity. If you're a woman, they don't even care if you have money. They just but, want you to be young and hot. But she's still hot. Yeah, she's not young. She's not young. She's not young, and therefore she's not, and therefore not hot. Tom, for once, I have to disagree with you. Like, so no, but you're you're not a guy. That's true, but she's still hot. Guys have no interest in a turkey neck with crow's feet. <laughs> hey, Botox, Tom. Botox. Guys, again, you know, I, I know gay men are crazy for Madonna. They should sleep with her. They do. They want to. Well, please. great. That's who should sleep with her because straight guys have no interest. But that's an upgrade from his wife. Because have you seen his wife? His wife isn't. She's in. She's okay. She, he should have never gotten it is that No, it's not an upgrade. Because it's still 49-year-old whip-cracking Madonna. Oh, my goodness, Tom. I'm very Ball-busting, whip-cracking Madonna. <sighs> very sad, very sad. Oh, what, what, wait, wait, wait. What is sad about this? It's sad because she is beautiful. Have you been to, have you been to our MySpace? Have you seen the picture of Madonna's hands? I've seen Madonna in person. Have I've you seen, seen Madonna's hands? No, I haven't seen those yet. If if you saw her grandma hands heading for your manhood, you would <laughs> jump out of that bed and head for the hills. <laughs> That's sad. It would be like your grandmother getting a grab. I mean, awful, awful. Go to go to our MySpace. Go there. I will. I will check it out. I'm on my way home right now. I will check it out. But we have way, a we have close up like photographs of Madonna's hands. When you see that, you tell me that a straight male in his 30s or his 20s or younger would want to touch that or be touched I mean, by it. 
Maybe she didn't use lotion that day. Maybe it was just a really bad day. Lo There's not enough lotion in the world. You'd have to put your hands in a bowl of lotion and leave them there. <laughs> and you never come she's out. Hot. Huh? She's, I knew it, Tom. She's hot. She's Straight hot. men don't think that. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go take a survey tomorrow. I'm a bartender, so I'm going to go take a survey tomorrow at work and ask everybody who thinks Madonna's hot or not. A, a straight men don't think so. I, w I would not touch Madonna with a 10-foot pole. Can I tell you something? Uh, there are cashiers at supermarkets uh -huh. who, for me, are way hotter than Madonna. And Madonna? Madonna's oh, like yes. a 12. She's like a 12. A 12? 12? Whoa. You mean a size 12? <laughs> no. She's like a size 3, but she's like a 12. On a scale of 1 to 10, she's a 12. She is she's amazing. No way. Turkey necks, uh, first of all, you <laughs> can't be a 10 over age 30. That's a rule. You can't. You can't? No, you can't. Uh, number two, she's 50. What about Holly Berry? She's she's over 30. She's gorgeous. She, she No, she's over 30. Angelina Jolie? Can't be a 10. Oh, that, that's... That's okay. just the way it is. I'm just speechless, Tom. I'm speechless because they're, they're all gorgeous. But again, you're, you're speaking from a female perspective. I'm speaking as a guy who has to get aroused looking at that naked. <laughs> Go check out the sex book, Tom, even though it was 10 years ago. But she this woman has been pregnant. She's got, probably got stretch marks. She's probably got that big blue thunderbolt vein going down the center of her belly. Uh, but she's still hot, regardless. No, I, I no, her. guys don't think so. I'm going to take a survey tomorrow. I'll Go ahead, take, you can take all the surveys you like. Make sure, make sure you find out if the guys are straight before you ask the question. I will, I will. Yeah, because you're right. All the gay guys I know, they always gay guys think she's hot, hot, hot. That's wonderful, but uh, straight guys don't. And 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 uh, by the way, if I had uh, three hundred million dollars, uh huh, I could do a lot better than Madonna. <laughs> Madonna's like a status. You just you slept with a guy. You know what? You're thinking like a girl. This is how girls think. <sighs> but I'm gay, Tom. So it's kind of it's kind of guy thinking in there. No, it isn't guy thinking about that because girls always say, "Oh yeah, Meg Ryan, she's hot too. Oh Michelle Pfeiffer, she's hot too. Every fifty-something female, oh yeah, she's hot. This one's hot. That one's hot. Uh -huh. Guys don't think like that." <sighs> Guys read magazines like Barely Legal. Guys guys don't want 50-year-olds. We don't. We don't want to have sex with our... We don't want to have sex with our grandmother. But she could teach you a lot of things. No, 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 no. And by the way... Wait, we don't... By the way, I don't think guys want to learn a lot of things. We're perfectly happy with the old in and out. But still, imagine imagine having sex with Madonna. My God, what she could possibly do. I, 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 honestly, I couldn't care less. All I would keep thinking about is how many miles are on this creepy old odometer. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She's been with a lot of people. She has oh, my, over one billion served. Are you kidding me? And I'm in line, too. I have my number. I mean, who, who the hell wants to go there? You know what? It's like... <laughs> Here's an example, Alex. You know the Sky Bar? Yeah. In in on Sunset Strip? Yeah. Uh remember when it first opened? Yes. There was lines and lines and you had to dress a certain way and look a certain way and stand in line forever and you had to work the guy at the door and it took forever to get in, remember? Yes. Well the Sky Bar is still open. You know you can probably get in there tonight. <laughs> Do you wanna go? Oh, no, I don't. No, because anyone who wanted to go already went. <laughs> That's oh, how it is with Madonna. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's say in 1990, would you have done her? In 1985, like, in 1985, I might have done Madonna, but that's <laughs> that's 23 years. No. No? No. Not even around the sex book era. Are you like kidding me? Yeah, yeah, she was eight years old when Salma Hayek was born, for God's sake. <laughs> if I'm going old, I'm going to Selma. Yeah, Selma's amazing too. Yeah, Selma's no, no, not two, not two, no. In my opinion, two. 
No, but again, straight men don't feel the way you do. I, it, women love the idea of having sex with celebrities. That's how rock stars uh, enjoy their job so much. And uh, George Clooney loved being George Clooney. Women love saying, you know who I love with? I love with George Clooney. Can you believe it? Ah, that's so great. And they jump right into bed with anybody who's a celebrity, even radio personalities they jump into bed with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, that's good for you, right? That's how women But the thing is, guys don't think that way. I know women in the radio business. I know women in the TV business. I don't sleep with them. Mm -hmm. I couldn't care less because there's younger, hotter models around. <sighs> I, you know what? I, I don't want the woman who's anchoring the news on a particular TV station. I mm -hmm. want the woman who just sent in a demo tape looking for a job at that station. Okay. Someone I've never heard of who's a lot hotter. Oh, that's why you love Hollywood, right? Everybody's here. Well, I love Hollywood for, for a million reasons. <laughs> anyway, darling, thank you. Thank you. Can you put me up Kobe style? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. There are beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Let's go to Sherwin. Sherwin, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Sherwin. Hello, Dad. You never call your mother anymore, Sherwin. Not really, sir. You're not an accountant, are you, Sherwin? Actually, I'm an engineer, sir, and I've been following your rules for eight years, and I want to say that you saved my life, sir. Are you getting more ass than a toilet seat, Sherwin? Absolutely, and I even got a vasectomy last year, so no bitches can get knocked up by me and take away my money. Listen, to Sher Sherwin has been taking his lessons here and taking them to heart. Look at that. Absolutely, sir. Anyone who doesn't follow your rules is just setting up themselves to failure. You gave me focus and direction eight years ago when I started listening to you. I graduated with a degree in engineering from Michigan. I just recently got my MBA from UCLA, and I make over two hundred grand a year working <laughs> for one of the top engineering firms in Southern California. Love that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First of all, I just want to say that last girl was an idiot. I don't know any straight guy that would do Madonna right now. I don't see the infatuation, and I don't know why athletes like Alex Rodriguez, who has multi-million dollars, he just signed, I believe, a $175 million extension, would put himself in the situation to be in this predicament. I mean, even if he has a prenuptial agreement, which I believe he does, if I'm not mistaken, he's still going to have to pay arm and leg in alimony. Or look at Michael Strahan. I believe uh, two-thirds of his assets were wiped out. There's just no nothing in it for men these days. I don't understand if you can get any woman in the world to have sex with you. Why would you get married? Absolutely, and there really is no point to it. At least for the guy, for the girl, I can completely understand. You can F someone's father or brother, get half of their assets, and not only that, get alimony for until she decides to get married again. Right. Uh, alimony for And life. what women typically do nowadays is they don't get married again. They live with their boyfriend, they have sex with their boyfriend, and they take their boyfriend on expensive vacations paid for with child support and alimony. <laughs> And unfortunately, the poor sucker who married that person is the one paying for all of it. Right. This. And I just want to say that you are really doing a great community service teaching all these young men, including me, how to follow Lycus 101 to a T. I, I love that. So, Sherwin, you wouldn't touch Madonna with a 10-foot pole. Hang on a second here. Vinny, you don't agree. Why not? Hey, Tommy, how you doing, man? I'm a fan. How you doing, Vinny? I'm all right. Hey, man. You I'm talk to you talk to my Goomba Dino out there. Yeah, no, nah, unfortunately, I don't know a Dino. You just talk to him. He puts you on the air. Oh, all right, yeah. Dino's a good guy. He's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, say hi to Sherwin. Hey, Sherwin, what's up, man? How you doing, my man? How you doing? Uh, man, I gotta say, both you guys are nuts, man. I'm as straight as arrow, but I'd scream it down in a second. Why? She's like a hundred million years old. You can get a lot hotter women now. And how about being a nice, hot eighteen-year-old? Why do you want to go oh, no, to Grandma Madonna? But, but Madonna's a legend. She's up there with Janet Jameson. I mean, that's bragging rights right there. 
up there with Janet Jameson, maybe perhaps in 1985 or 84, yeah, but now that she's a grandma, I mean, I, I just don't uh, see it. Hey, man, I mean, I'm to not each his own. Eight, I'm not even saying she's a seven. I'm just saying just to do it for the hell of it. I mean, right. I'm not a picky guy. Right, I mean, right. I don't make bad 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 here, but, huh? for, Right. For me, though, all the Viagra in the world would to do Madonna. So, I mean, oh, I, I, I don't just, know. Man, I can tell that by the way you're talking. I'm sorry? Said obviously, man. I can tell that by the way you're talking. I, it's, I find out I believe that you can pick up any chick, let alone Madonna. Well, when you make two over two hundred grand a year, like me, and you have an MBA from a top ten school, you can get your pick. I don't know what profession you yeah. are. I'm probably right. I do line guys. service over at Burbank Airport. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're making what thirty, forty grand a year? Yeah, if that. I wish, man, but I'm moving on up in the industry, and I guess I'm just surrounded by sweaty mechanics all day long, and Madonna just looks good to me. Right. Well, I mean, hey, hey that's, that's me your back call, for it. You don't think your dad would be proud of you if you came home and you said, hey, Pops, get to that bone tonight? I wouldn't say Madonna. That he'd probably smack me upside the head if I said I bone Madonna. I'll that's tell you that. comes from a strange family, my friend. I mean, why should I, why should I bang some has-been 50-year-old when I get 18, 19, LA 10s and 11s. It's just like Tom said. You focus, you get your education, you get your six-figure income, and you don't even have to be the best-looking guy. And I'm not. I'm probably a LA 6 or 7 at best. But I don't need to be a LA 10. All I need to show them is my salary, not even spend a dime on them, and it's all good. Well, shoot, man, I wish I could talk like that. But all I got is my looks and my masculinity, and I got to say that I would hit an L.A. 6 or an L.A. 7 any day of the week because, you know what, I'm not very picky. Okay. And well, hey, to, to each his own, brother, to each his own. That's all right, Sherwin, do. Vinny, thank you very, very much for the calls. Uh, Vinny, uh, very lightning to hear from you. wonder what happened to Vinny Barbarino after all these years. Uh -huh. Like it. 1-800-5800-1-800-5800-866. Get in, get off, get out. That's my motto, man. Don't be stuck with one girl too long because there's nothing but headaches and problems. It's the Tom Likas Show. Rodriguez getting a divorce he's going to be paying, paying, paying Madonna denies it but the New York newspapers well, have never worried about accuracy in the past anyway but we'll blame them uh, they and Us Weekly continue to say that uh, Alex Rodriguez has been spending his time in Madonna's apartment at night so people are saying connect the dots and now uh, Mrs. Rodriguez has filed for divorce. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Megan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Megan. How are you? Great. Great. I have a question for you. Yes. What do you think about two people being married and the husband ends up cheating on the wife? Do you think she's entitled to alimony? Not for that, No. What if there's kids involved? It has nothing to do with cheating. So you don't think that the wife is entitled to what the husband makes? Well, uh, first of all, alimony is, is is separate from community property. Do you understand that? Yeah. Those are two different things. So unless there's a prenup that says otherwise, a woman is entitled to half of everything the man made for the entire length of the marriage in most states. I understand. So, uh, what I don't understand is why a man should have to pay a woman after a marriage is over. That doesn't make sense. If I lease a BMW, and I'm done driving the BMW, and I give the keys back to the dealer, I don't keep making my monthly payment. Yeah. Because I no longer have use of the car. Well, so, is, why in the world would I need to make payments to a woman after I'm done after her? What if there is... 
the house involved as well as the cars. And you make just about, well, not just about, but the main reason why the husband is where he is is because of you. Well, first of all, that that's outrageous to assume that about women. Uh, because in my career, most women I've been with have tried to slow down or stop my career, not to help it along. I always looked at it as whatever the man makes, you benefit more from it. The more successful the man is, the more successful you are. Well... And the reason why you encourage the man to be successful. Yeah, but again, I, I, you can't assume that about women, uh, because there are many women who say you work too much, you work too many hours, you like your job more than you like me, you're never home. I know that. So uh, that that's the same woman who then hires an attorney after you get divorced and say, I was there when he was nothing. I helped him all the way to the top. There are many women who just sit there and nag and complain then later claim to be the uh, the muse. What about if when you got married, the woman was making more than the husband, and now that, he, now that their divorce is, I guess, being considered, the man just makes a little bit more than the wife? I believe that, first of all, there should be mandatory prenuptial agreements that spell all this out. What if the man was the one that actually threw that out of the window? I don't think judges should be getting involved in this stuff. I think this is something that men and women should be uh, writing out. I think that uh, you should not be able to get married until uh, the person who uh, gives you the marriage license has, has reviewed your prenup. And I know that you're totally for the 50-50. Uh, well, no, not when I write a prenup. When I write a prenup, I'm in favor of the 100 and nothing. I mean, sorry, what you make or what you had before you go into the marriage. Is what like, I have is mine, what you have is yours. Why should I pay you to live with me? Except for the stuff that you get with your spouse during the time that you're married. No, for example, no, our house. no, no. Uh, the last time I was married, I was the one working. Uh-huh. So if I bought a car, it was my car. Even if both parties make pay payments to that car and pay the insurance? How can like both parties do that if only one is working? True. Well, I'm just saying in my case. What do you mean in your case? If both parties make payments? Well, I, while he was going to school, I was the one working. Right. Well, look, I mean, if you don't have a prenuptial agreement, that'll be split 50-50. That's the law. Tom, you are awesome. I listen to you every day. Thank you, Megan. See, you, you, you should have got with me. I should have. But you would have just hit it and quit it. Yeah, but you know what? It would have been the best weekend you ever had. Ooh, weekend. Living yeah. on up from a day. There you go. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, dear. It's, it's because you're so young and supple. <laughs> Thanks. 22 years old. Already divorced. That's hot. Hey, I make 86000 a year. So and she makes 86000 a year. You can take me out to dinner. You know what? You give me your personal number, I will. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the best part would be if we get your uh, soon-to-be ex-husband to pay for it. That would be even better. Love that. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Steve on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay. Well, uh, what's up with A-Rod? This guy lost his mind. Number one, he didn't need to get married in the first place. Number two, he doesn't need to be hanging out with Grandma. All right? Yeah, hasn't the news gotten A-Rod? Marriage is for poor people. We had this discussion at work today. And uh, two or three of the guys are obviously not, you know, students of yours. So I had to, I had to give them a little lesson. And they finally came around, and it, it basically it came down to, okay, we're we don't think Madonna's the one anymore. Is old and as hot as we'll go as Heather Locklear. You know, and and, it, and isn't didn't I just see in the cover of one of the mags of the uh, supermarket she's in the loony bin now? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. You know, I, Heather's I a listener. She's called the show, and uh, we wish her all the best. But uh, one of the mags said she's uh, like in the loony bin now. Oh well, hey, you know what? Sometimes crazy. Heather, if you're not the in the one. loony bin, call in and uh, let us know you're out there. Yeah, and sometimes the crazy ones are the best ones. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I don't understand it. If you know what, if I had that kind of money, I'll, there's no way I'd ever get married. There's no way. Just and. I certainly wouldn't be messing around with, you know, 
people that, that age. It's for poor guys who need a roommate in order to afford an apartment. That's what marriage is. Exactly. Well, and they, oh, she's got all this money. She can do all this stuff and all that. I said, what you do is you hang out with her long enough to get some of her money and then go get you some 21-year-old. That's right. Use your head. I don't understand. I agree with you. don't have no sense. Hang on one second. Now, Chase, you don't agree uh, with me or Steve. Why not? Chase? All right, we got to get a better connection on Chase, but I got another one here, uh, Nick. Uh, Nick, you also don't agree with me or Steve. Why not? Because she's a legend, man. You got these old timers. Uh, if Audrey Hepburn was alive, they would say well, she's hot too. So I mean, Madonna's hey, well, not that bad. Okay, so she hey, w- listen. She's a legend. Great. I'm not taking anything away from her career, or what she's done. But you know what? She's old, and there and there's there's plenty of other hotter, younger women around that that this guy could be with. So why waste your time with that? You know what? Nobody's taking anything away from what she what she's done to music and her career and all that nonsense. Yeah, no, I don't know about marrying her or just I mean just one time, just just one time. I mean, uh, it's something to brag about. Yeah, the the one time is you know what? It's it's the the two at ten is the ten at two syndrome. That would be the one time. You know what? I got my beer goggles on and there's nothing left. That's it. And that's a two bagger. You know what I'm saying? One to cover up my face, and then that bag that you put over her mouth that you squeeze to resuscitate her. (laughs) You know? Nick, Uh, you sound shocked. No, I'm not shocked. I'm just waiting for you to finish all these uh, fancy words. Uh, Still, just one time. I mean, it's Madonna. Steve, you're talking over our heads here. Yeah, I think so. (laughs) Hey, Tom, listen, man, I'm going to run. I got some chilies in the backseat getting warm. Oh, baby. (laughs) What are their names? (laughs) Um... Hey, Tom. Uh, uh, yes, Nick. Can you take me out Armenian style? What would that be? Be creative. I don't know. I mean, what's the sound effect for a woman with a hairy chest? Wait a minute. <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that chick I had to sign her rack? And she had thick, dark hair in her cleavage. You know how hard it is to write on a hairy chest? Seriously. 1-800-5800-TOM. All right, let's try Chase again. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. Can you hear me okay now? Why don't we spend a minute talking about that? I want to do, listen, I didn't hear the guy's last name. I heard Sherwin. I know we've moved on from Sherwin, but I think you, the last guy, and Sherwin are so full of it. Number one... If Madonna presented the opportunity for any of you guys, you would jump on it. Not two, not in a million years. Listen, number two, number two, do you think that Madonna's the only girl, the only woman that A-Rod is nailing on the side? She's one of... Well, she says uh, he's not nailing her. Let's just get the facts straight. All right. So let's assume, let, let's just speculate that he's nailing her. He's also nailing the 19-year-old girl that's a fan... The 25 year old hairdresser. This is your speculation, yeah. These are all spec. I'm speculating. So, the bottom line is if Madonna wants you or Sherwin or who, whatever his name was, Rain Man, and the last guy, you guys would all jump at the opportunity. Really? So, if Jessica Tandy were still alive or, uh, uh, you know, Catherine Hepburn, you think we'd do that too? I don't know about Catherine Hepburn. Why not? I know about Madonna. Well, and, they're uh, they're they're uh, legends, of course. I don't care if she if they're a legend or, or not a legend. Madonna's hot. Madonna's she's old. Saying, she's old. She's older than a nineteen year old, obviously. She's but, a, you she, know, are you getting? She's old enough to be the grandmother of a nineteen year old. I I hear you, man. But she's still she's still pretty sexy. She's got a good figure. Oh, and God only knows what having babies did to that. Uh, FUPA. The FUPA area. Thank you for the call. <laughs> the Tom Likas Show.